Okay. So, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple piston door. I haven't designed anything overly fast, but I'm working on one right now. It's not really compact, but it's a design I still made, and I would like to show you it either way. Here's the news. It, well, it is pretty cool. To satis it's, it's pretty satisfying. Now, before we get into this, I would like you to subscribe like maybe comment down below what you want me to do a tutorial of next but real quick i have to show you something a vital mistake i made in my most recent tutorial about this little arcade machine right here or i call it an arcade machine you can call it what you want the, the leading mechanism itself is messed up i forgot that you have to link the deleting mechanism itself to the correct ones the corresponding ones this diamond is going to go in the green so we need to connect that up here before we start the video, let's go ahead and do that, and then we will start the tutorial. This won't take long, don't worry. And that. No, that's not gonna work. You know what? Eh, why not? Let's do that. That. Then it'll automatically take an output from this. Here. Do this. Alright, follow my lead, and if you've built this machine in my from my recent tutorial. There. So that part's done. Alright, anyways, I'm gonna test this, and then we shall get started. It scores in both the safe slots. Let's see. I did design this machine. Now, I did an entirely different module to it. This one's the original version. It's not very nice looking. Now, this one, though, actually looks a ton better. If you ask me. Still pretty sprawled, but this time it actually looks more, you know, sense making, if anything. So now let me delete this. See if it only deletes one or both. Okay, I've successfully fixed it. Great news. That's very good news. See? Yeah, yeah, I've successfully fixed it. Alright. Now, let's get into the tutorial. Let me clear this. And get your first color. We're going to start off with the bottom few blocks. We're gonna go over here. I'm gonna go into the sky. As it's normally for some reason what YouTubers do. Or Redstoners. I don't know how good you guys are at Redstone. Remember, I said that in my recent tutorial. Like I said, uh, let's do this. Get this, 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 this. Uh oh. Here we go. I like pink wool the color. I don't know why, but I do. Um, let's get some redstone and naturally a few repeaters because we're going to have to do a double piston extender. I'm the one who has to let you choose the blocks you want. Okay. we go sorry about that I had to unplug my control and replug it in there's um, a little bit of a glitch I have with uh, auto placing blocks I don't like it but so I have to get rid of it by unplugging my control and replugging it in I don't know why that is These on four ticks. I think you have to have it on four ticks. I don't remember exactly. Then this on four ticks. Hmm. 
Hmm. Then we're gonna, I guess. I'm not mistaken. Let me get some blocks, specifically quartz blocks. Yeah, yeah. We have to also do this one tick. In case you're wondering. Now if we test it in a second, auto place block again, I don't I don't have I don't have any idea why it does that, but, yeah, it does. So, yeah. Um, now, let's see this. 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 And we're going to go ahead and test it in a second. Here's where we use glass. I like to use glass a lot of my builds. Not for some reason I don't like slabs. I just like glass. It looks more manufactured to me. See, I like modern stuff in the real world, so I do ma manufactured stuff. Let's do this. Let's test it. No, that didn't work. I think I did something wrong specifically. Peter's here. Hmm. You know what happened to this? You know what did happen to that? Okay, that does work. That's really good news. Really, really good news. If I remember correctly. This. Alright, now let's test it. Good. Okay, that part works. And it is supposed to go in that pattern. So now we gotta go color. I'm gonna go for red. The red's gonna be the sides one. That's frustrating. Really, really is. How did that even happen? My brain's a bit broken right now. You know what, I can do this though. I'm not mistaken. Then it'll still power it. Alright, good, good. Oh, right, then this will still power it. Oh, oh okay. Alright, I, I had a solution. Remember, I saw that. I don't like the auto block, auto place thing. I, I hate it actually. I really, really do. There's nothing I can do about it. Sticky pistons is my next thing. Oh! Okay, never mind. I have a modern fix, I guess. I guess you can call it modern. Okay, so I'm gonna be getting a new controller eventually, that I'll have more control over my own controller. But I, um, need a bit more money first. 
And here's the thing. If you want better quality in my videos, if you really are a nice person and you want to help out, all you gotta do is subscribe. It really will help, I promise. Okay? I'm not lying. You can trust me. If you do think I'm lying, you won't later on when you start making videos. If you start making videos. That's actually something you'll have to think about yourself. I don't know what you'll be doing later on. I'm gonna do this. Uh, this. Now we're gonna go and get... Hmm, how about... Genta, if you're looking at the blocks in my inventory, yes, I am actually in the 1.16 beta. Yeah, yeah, I know, I like, I like pink types. So, I, I kind of like pink colors and redstone. It looks cool, in my opinion. Alright, so we're gonna need yet another outline. We're gonna need yet another set of pistons. Each of which are going to have a line of resin, uh, a piece of resin dust on top of. So that part's done, okay. Now we need, well, yet another double piston extender. And, well... Another set of repeaters. Alright, so if we do this. Wait. No, no, no. These ones have to have this. There are many bunch of designs for the top part, but I'm doing this one. I know it's quiet. Let me get my jam on. I do this almost every video because of how rare the music is in this version. Let's see. All right. You know what? I'll just have this in my inventory for reasons. For reasons I can't disclose. Wait. Here we go. Here we go. This is my jam. Now, you should know this part. We're gonna have, you know, this. Go up here. It's gonna do this. I feel like anyone could design something like this. It's really quite simple. And I love saying this because some people are just gonna say, but that isn't simple at all. Even though I know for a fact it is. And now I can understand them though because not a lot of this type of stuff is very simple but trust me when i say it is 
people always say MomoJumbo says everything simple, even though some of it's really not. And, yeah, I get where they're coming from, because not a lot of the stuff he makes is simple. But, still, a lot of the stuff he makes and says is simple is simple, so. Yeah. Yeah, that made no sense, did it? Wasn't really planning on making it make sense. Here we go. We're gonna test the opening and closing process. I will eventually invert it, don't worry. Uh oh. One off, okay. Looks like we do need to actually kind of make this a bit bigger. Which means, you get this, bring it over here, take this down, take this down, bring you up, then, naturally, we're gonna do this, this, Right. Yeah, I keep forgetting about the simplest things. Still not on. Hmm. Try this. That was a PR accident. Trust me when I say that. Okay. Now if we do this. Okay. Looks like it works. All right. That's good. That's very good. Um. There's an add-on. You don't have to do this. You can go ahead and invert it with you want whenever you want. But I'm gonna do a pulse extender and a wooden button to maximize the amount of time it's open, and still only do a um um. Op automatic open and close system, okay? Hope you're okay with that, because that's what I'm doing. Not sure if this will work, but I do believe it will. Do this. Right, we gotta turn that off. Okay. This, this, this. button oh yeah that works that works okay that is great news now we're gonna make it to where there's a button oh all right I gotta cover this up don't I like I said you can probably find better condition doors a whole lot better on the internet but if you're looking for something simple and doesn't actually take too long to build just functions really then this is your thing cuz this is probably as simple as doors get no. easily I I've been able to memorize this one since what I first designed it unlike that machine which I had to entirely create a new design as you saw in that tutorial as you might have seen if you've ever watched it even watched it. I don't know for sure if you have I'm not gonna accuse you of anything don't worry what happened there oh my bad well Thank you. 
I'm gonna show you guys something after this that some of you may already know about, some of you may not. It's really quite cool. You wanna see it, trust me. If you love redstone, at that. Yep, there we go. And I just walk straight through it. Okay, it works. That's good news. Alright, so that's that done. Now, if you're looking for the little thing, the bonus, I usually do bonuses nowadays. Or, well, since my last video, I'm starting to do bonuses. You're gonna want to be prepared. Because I now have a, we now have a way to make vertical transmission. Now you should probably make sure you have a lot of arrows because that's just, that's how this is gonna work. It's simple yet effective. Uh, say about this eye. Good, good. Since dispensers are so accurate, it's really good. And if you know what you're doing, I'm saying you don't, like I said, I don't accuse. You can make a sideways quick quick sideways transmission that goes straight through it to make a quick cross. Watch. Wait, I gotta do something. <laughs> Don't worry, I was just getting ready to block. Let's get a stone button or wooden button. Whatever button we can find, really. And put it right down here. That missed entirely. God dang it. Okay, maybe I do have to make this kind of. There. Now let's try it. <sighs> now we can make this go down a tiny bit and it would work better, but it works perfectly either way. Uh, okay, maybe that's a little bit underwhelming. Sure, but watch what happens when we do this. And then this then this and well this now we have a system that's extremely hard to fail see Now, I would advise, if you're going to make something like this, you either, if you're going to make a permanent one, you either hook it up to a skeleton farm with a item sorter, or you, well, 
hook it up to a really long line of hoppers and chests with arrows in it, then it'll be, like, nearly just permanent. But it's, like I said, it's got a lot of downsides, just like every other machine we have. Yeah. So that's this day's tutorial. I appreciate it if you'd like. Um, subscribe, comment down below what you'd like about the video and what you'd like in the next one. And then, make sure to share this video because what's the point of being a YouTuber if no one knows about you? Thanks for watching, and I shall see you in another one. Bye, guys!